What's up you guys? So today, I it has been a rough week to say the least. I have been working all week on the van and it's been a challenge to say the least. I've literally been working on it every single day with my brother, um, trying to figure out how to fix it, what's wrong with it. So I don't know if you guys are gonna see that video first or if you'll see this one first, but today, um, another youtuber is coming over right now she should be on her way and she is actually going to help me install my diesel heater because she has one too and she's given me a couple of tips and I went and got a couple things that I needed we are going to attempt to install the diesel heater and I'm kind of excited I'm kind of nervous I hope it works out we'll have heat so yeah I haven't gotten a chance to do my van tour and that's just because honestly i've been working on the van every single day all day trying to figure this out and so we just i haven't had a chance to get around to it it will happen soon it just hasn't happened yet so i'm really hoping this gets resolved so i can start focusing more on just traveling because i will be heading out to florida very very soon well then the next day or so depending on hampton if we could figure out what's wrong with him uh, I'm gonna give it today, and if uh, what we have doesn't work on it today, then I'm just gonna put, you guys will, see, you, you'll see all that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and move some things around, figure out where I want to, where I want to put it, and she should be on her way, so I'll see her in a minute, and hopefully we, I will be ready to go as soon as she gets here. Okay, so I got the diesel here out and stuff, um, this is the box that it came in. There's some stuff there. Um, here is the diesel heater itself. There's the fuel tank and then here's all the stuff that it came with. So I'm just getting everything laid out and hopefully I have everything that I need to get this done. So I'm nervous. She's here. Hi. So this is Samantha, and she also lives in her van. Um, she's doing over the there van somewhere. <laughs> That's her van. Do you have a name for him or her? Lady Rose. So she has Lady Rose, and I have Hampton. But she is here because she also has a diesel heater, and so she, she's going to attempt to help me install mine. We've been looking at it, and I think we have a good idea of what we're going to attempt to do. Um, this might work. It might not work, but we're going to try it hopes. anyway. <laughs> But she came prepared. She has all kinds of tools and I have next to nothing. So she yeah, works. I'm glad to be able to use them actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, where can people find you? Um, YouTube, Samantha R. Olmstead and Instagram, Samantha R. Olmstead. So go subscribe to her if you haven't, because I love her channel and I think you guys will love it too. So right now we're just looking at where we want to install it. And from looking underneath the van, I'm thinking I might cut out this area here, which I know means I can't put the seat back in. But by the time I get rid of this van, either someone's going to want to buy it or someone's not going to want to buy it. So I'm going to take that risk and I'm going to try and set it here. And if I'm going to put this here, I measured from here to here and it's exactly right at four inches. So that works out perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and try and cut the carpet out first. And then we're going to get to drilling. It's like glued down. Or it probably is glued down. probably been like that forever too I feel like that's how my carpet was it took me well you know how you see these like Instagram I really took too much to heart watching YouTube's and Instagram while doing my van build because people spent the time and cleaned their van down to like the very very bottom literally every single fiber or particle they cleaned out repainted it i didn't do that i spent about an hour maybe a little more trying to get that carpet off mm -hmm. actually realistically it was probably an entire afternoon i tried but i was like it would take me weeks to get it clean 
And then I was like, why do I care? My van was three thousand dollars. Yeah, it's like if you bought like a newer one. That's... Or like people buy like almost twenty thousand dollar sprinter vans. Yeah. Even used, and I'm like, okay, I can see if you spend that kind mm -hmm. of money. Yeah, it's like I spent like twenty twenty six hundred bucks on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, and it's nice. Do you know who Tom Green is? Tom Green, like the actor from Charlie's Angels? Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I really know him from, but... He's doing van life right now. No way! Mm -hmm. He was doing, he started a YouTube channel and it was like... It was Tom Where? Green. Let's go find him and be <laughs> friends with him. I think right now he's like in... Probably Utah West Coast. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was just through here, not like a, a couple months ago. We don't need no men! <laughs> so now we're going to cut out probably... Let's see. It's right here. From the um, from underneath, I think it'll be easiest if I cut right here. All right, you guys. I got my safety gloves and glasses, thanks to Samantha. As you know, <laughs> I usually don't do safety, but we're working with metal today, so hopefully I can even drill this in. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous, too. I don't even know how to start. Take two. Here we go. <laughs> I'll do four of those and then four big ones. Perfect. Yeah, it's definitely not as thick as uh, that middle part. Yeah, it's Good, super yay. thin. So, so I think it should it'll be easy. Be, yeah, a little easier than we were anticipating. That is by no means going to be a, a square square, but. Yeah. Right. Jigsaw. I'm a little nervous, but I think we'll be fine. I think you will. You have shown. I've used jigsaws before, so just not on metal. <laughs> I think that's the hardest part physically. The rest is just Mental. maneuvering and <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so are I, I mean these are self-tapping that it came with. Yeah, so. it did come with everything you need. And these are the little ones for the fuel lemon. Okay. Well, they figure it out as you go. It really is. The instructions only helped me so much. It was more of a hands-on project. I didn't understand the instructions at all. I gave them to my brother. He was like, yeah, I don't think that I can do this. Yeah, and it's just, if you've never seen one before, it's just a different, like with other um, mechanical stuff, it's usually similar to things people have learned. This is just so different. Mm -hmm. But once you get it, you understand it. Yeah, it's like once you do one, you can probably do do it again and not have as much trouble. And also what we probably should do is connect the exhaust in the... Right now and then put and, it in. Yeah, before you put it down. There we go. weird like the because one of them I picked up these are flatheads yeah yeah take a little bit of battery power so we got everything hooked up on the bottom and now we are feeding it through the hole and we're gonna start connecting it to the bottom part <laughs> Sweet Jesus. 
before we put it in there though, we were having a hard time doing the fuel line. And so what we did was we took the little black part here that it comes with, we cut a small piece off and then used these to get the um, attach the fuel line because this, we could not get on top of this nipple part. So this I saw on another YouTube video and she gave me this idea. All right, so we got this in. I just need to bolt it down and then we will work underneath. But now we are going to start. So here is the heater, obviously. So what we're planning on doing is because there used to be a chair here, there's already a pre-drilled hole that goes through the van. So I'm gonna pop the um, fuel, the fuel line through there and then it's gonna route over here. And this is where all of my, the pump is gonna be in the filter. And then I'm gonna have some slack that will come up to the door and the tank <clears throat> is essentially the idea is that it will sit on my door so I can just open up the door and fill it up. So we'll see if that plan works. Samantha is trying to fish the bolt out right here, which this is exactly what she did to get hers. So we're trying it. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Oh. So, what we did was we drilled the hole here and uh, we took this string and we fished it through as you guys saw and we used these what pliers is that what these are called yes i think <laughs> <laughs> girls um but we got it done and i pulled it out so we got the um i don't know what this is called i an o-ring i know because i had to buy a whole bunch so we got the o-ring on there and then now we're going to put the nut the nut on there oh, okay. And we did it. It, it was, was hard work. It was not the easiest task, but we did it. So we're getting somewhere. All right, so we've done a few things. We're getting pretty far. Um, Samantha's working on the electrical part over here. Mm -hmm. And I just finished doing this. I This fuel line right here is the one that connects to the actual heater from underneath. And then it goes into the fuel pump here, which goes into the filter and then this uh, runs back in to the tank over there. I don't have like any batteries Like solar. I don't have anything like that. All I use for power is my Jackery and my Blue Eddy so we are kind of rigging it up and This was Samantha's idea Hopefully it works. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought one of these and then she is connecting it to everything else. Yeah, so it comes with all the wires and everything. So theoretically, you just plug it into your fuse box. But since she doesn't have one, we bought this and just cut the ends off. And then we're just connecting that to the positive and negative. And if all goes correctly when she plugs it in, should work. So hopefully it will. And then because we couldn't tell what the positive and negative were for that, my brother, My brother gave me the, or he gave me this little tiny LED light and he hooked him up and he said, plug this in um, to plug this in, hook these up. And if it lights up, it's positive and negative. If it doesn't, it's the opposite. And we did and it worked. And so now we know which one's positive, which one's negative. Yeah, so I think, I mean, I can't imagine this won't work, but. <laughs> I don't want to get too excited and then have it not work. So far, it's been an all day event, but we're really doing it. Like we have had a little bit of help from my brother. Um, and other than that, we've been- In she's, a couple YouTube videos, but yeah, yeah. it's been. <laughs> she's been a huge help and I'm so, so, so thankful that she was also in the Nashville area and she came out to help me install yeah, this Yeah, that was just heater. a really happy accident, really. Cause mm -hmm. my dad lives here and her mom lives here and we both were here for the holidays. And fun fact too, we are both gonna be heading to Florida too. So she's gonna go to Disneyland. She has a friend in Florida and stuff too. So maybe we might run into each other again sometime in the near future. Hopefully. We'll see. laying on my hair i know i was too and my hair's long so i was like <laughs> couldn't get up because i was trapping myself with it okay so i'm under the car and i have the exhaust hooked up here and i have the this is the air filter and i routed it over 
to right here. So that'll come out. All right. I think we pretty much everything's done. We just gotta connect the electrical, which she did. So I think now all I have to do, well, I gotta put gas in it and then essentially plug it into the Jackery and it should work. I think I have it all hooked up. So we are going to um, put some, we're gonna fill it up a little bit. Throw some diesel in there. And then we're gonna test it out and see, see what happens. <laughs> see if it works. We do have to do the little, um, oops. This is a game changer, you guys. Life changing heat. I guess it won't come out here until the pump is on. Yes. And then we have to do this thing. I had to YouTube it because my instructions were wrong. I'm out of breath and I haven't even done anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically to get it through the pump before it actually starts working. Okay. It's like, I forget what it's called, but so, moment of truth. Where does this go to? That's the fuse. Oh, okay. Yep. Which I don't need. So Jaylena is going to plug this in. We're going to see if it works. Does it fit? There it goes. Yep. Okay, the light's on, so that part works. No! No! So uh, there's a chance that it wasn't plugged in, um, but it may or may not have been my fault. It's fine. It's fine. But we undid it and we redid it, and so we'll see if that. It was probably just not plugged in because We've it wasn't plugged in. We decided to wait to connect them permanently. So this is the new moment of truth. <laughs> Okay. You guys. I got a heater. Woohoo! All right. So now I'm going to try do? and actually connect. Okay. Like a solid good connection. All right. All right. So it everything's rewired up and it is working. Woohoo! Okay, so now the instructions said, I don't remember what this process is called, but basically it just pumps the fuel from the tank to the heater before it actually starts using it. Maybe this is a super <laughs> professional explanation. Okay, so you hold these down and it does this, but I can't remember if you have to do something. Now all you men out there, I know it might be hard for you, but if you need to refer to the instructions. I was like, call us so we can help you. <laughs> that too. Okay, so. We'll read the instructions for you. I don't hear the pump. I think we should. Okay, so it says which display H O F and after releasing press up regulation button and display. There we um, go. I hear it. The <gasps> oil pump starts to work. You can hear the sound of the oil pump working and the pump icon. Okay, press down regulation button to display to exit fuel pumping. The fuel, the process of line air evacuation shall be done under watch. When the oil reaches the position of the oil inlet of the machine, it can be stopped. So now we just have to wait for the wait oil for the... to get like basically past here. So I don't know if you guys can see this, it's kind of dark, but we can see it pumping through here, which is coming out of the pump and into the heater. So we're going to run it a few times through and see if it starts to put off some heat, I guess. So we turned it on and this is what it looks like. And we are just waiting for the pump to turn on. And mm -hmm. then after that, you can control the heat. Yeah. You can kind of smell the burning mm -hmm. plastic a little bit already. Yeah. I, mean, it's not I smell warm it. Or anything, but... <laughs> Maybe so that's she said that it will smell like that the first couple of times you use it which is normal and so we definitely smell it so it's definitely working yeah i was worried i was gonna suffocate on mine so i bought my carbon monoxide detector like immediately because everyone scared me but when you first turn it on apparently 
from what I could gather, if there's too much fuel that has been pumped into the heater, you might see black smoke out of your exhaust, but I believe that's normal in that scenario and it just burns it away and then everything's fine. There it goes, there's the pump. pump. The pump's on, it's working. Let's see what our temperature is. Oh, it's warm. <gasps> it works. I have a heater. <laughs> so it works. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I am so excited, you guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and of helping course. me. Of <laughs> course. I'm excited I had something. I pretty much made her do everything because I didn't, I didn't do half of mine, but I feel like I was a good assistant. Yeah. If it weren't for her, I would not have done this. So to have her kind of guide me through everything that needed to get done, I was definitely capable of doing it. Listen, she I was the brains. zip ties like a boss, okay? <laughs> she was the brains and that was the muscle and it worked out. <laughs> Yay! Well, I'm excited and I'm so happy we thought of yes. this idea because... And so it totally works. I could plug it into the Jackery. I could plug it into straight into my van if I want to. Um, you could put it in your next van. It yeah. would be easy. And it would probably work better than my normal heater if I did have it plugged into the van but it only takes about 10 watts out of the Jackery, which is, I think, less than my heated blankets. So I, with that information, I know that it will last me at least three nights, and that's also Feel me. it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Oh, you guys, <gasps> I wish that you guys could feel this. It's so warm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn it off, otherwise it's gonna just keep blowing because it's, it's trying to heat up the outdoors right now. This is amazing. I'm so, so excited. It took us pretty much all day, but we got it done and we did it ourselves because, you know, girl power. <laughs> if you don't have a dry air heater, you're missing out. That's all I can say. I highly recommend. Life changing. YouTube helped us also throughout the whole day. We were looking up videos when yes. we got stuck on certain problems. So, yeah, thank you so much, Whoa. Samantha, for coming to help My me. My pleasure. Thanks for having me over. I think we might actually go live tonight, too, which by this point, you guys will have already seen that. So It's my first time, though. It's her first time going live, and I'm excited. All right, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are as proud of us as I am proud of us. And I, if you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure you go um, check out Samantha's channel. I will link it here somewhere and also in the description so you guys can. If you enjoyed us both, you got to go subscribe to her channel. She is very close to 10,000. Yeah, super. I mean, like, yeah, on let's, my way. Let's get her up to 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> that would be an awesome way for me to be able to say thank you is for all of you to go subscribe <laughs> to her channel. Your friendship is thank you enough. <laughs> It was an awesome day. We, I feel like it I was. made a friend for life. Yes, and my thing took me two days. We got it done in one day. We bonded. My cat had a great time here. So it was fun. Yeah. It was good. Maybe um, Dragon can go meet Halo and BB. She already met Bandit and they did good, so. They did. Bandit's like the nicest animal on the planet. So. <laughs> she is. She's a good dog. Yeah. But we, I will see you guys on the next one. And yeah, I am beyond ecstatic right now. I have a heater. <laughs>